Hi, my name is Vineet and I'm a product manager for National Instruments. For a long time we've developed products that make use of FPGA technology. FPGA chips give you flexibility with low-level hardware customization and onboard processing. However, you need I.O. to actually interface with real-world signals. In the past, there have been FPGA-based data acquisition devices with general-purpose I.O., which is great for a lot of applications, but with the low-level customization that FPGAs offer, people are constantly pushing the capabilities of the inputs and outputs. It's like buying that high-definition 54-inch big-screen TV and then connecting it up to your VCR. Sure, you might be okay with the picture quality, but you're never going to use that big screen TV to its full potential. What if, instead of tying the FPGA to general purpose I.O., we were able to use that FPGA chip with flexible I.O. that you could change out and customize? Well, let me show you FlexRio. FlexRio is made up of two parts, the FlexRio FPGA module and the FlexRio I.O. adapter module. The FlexRio FPGA module features a programmable Vertex 5 FPGA chip with up to 128 megabytes of onboard memory. It also has all the benefits of the PXI platform, which include timing, triggering, and synchronization. FlexRio adapter modules can be purchased from National Instruments or third-party companies, or even customized using the FlexRio adapter module development kit. This kit includes PCB files, CAD drawings, mechanical enclosures, and complete documentation. For example, you can choose the exact analog to digital converters or high-speed digital buffers that meet the specs for your specific application. This particular adapter module has high-speed digital I.O. And so I can connect it over to this system here and connect this top connector to the camera sensor and then this bottom connector to the custom LCD display. It's got up to 100 megahertz digital inputs and outputs, and I can use the FPGA to customize communication between the camera and the LCD display. This is a good example of protocol aware test because the FPGA is able to configure the sensor and LCD, capture the pixel and video timing data from the image sensor, and correctly format the video and timing signals for the LCD display. Let's go ahead and run the application. In LabVIEW FPGA, we're taking data from this image sensor and then storing it into a frame buffer on the onboard memory. We have a separate LabVIEW FPGA loop, then taking data out of that buffer and then displaying it on the LCD display. I can move my hand here and you can watch it now live on the display. Now the real benefit of using an FPGA is the ability to add onboard processing in real time. And so that's actually what we've done here. Now we can take this two-dimensional image and map it to a 3D space and I can do onboard processing to rotate about the X, Y, and Z axes. In fact, on this F particular FPGA chip, we're doing over 40 million matrix multiplies per second. Now this particular high-speed digital adapter module is something that you could purchase from National Instruments. But let's say, instead of high-speed digital, you wanted to add your own high-speed analog components. You wanted to choose a particular analog digital converter. Well, we've actually got one of those here as well. In this case, you would use the module development kit and place the exact components along with all the front-end circuitry, power, and filtering, anything you'd need for an analog device, and then customize your I.O. to be exactly what you need for your application. Then you can add it directly to your system, connect, connect up your signals, and just like that, you've gone from a high-performance digital instrument to a high-speed analog instrument. Now, something you're going to want to keep in mind is that building your own FlexRio adapter module requires experience in custom hardware design. If you've never designed your own printed circuit board, this might not be the best approach for you. Luckily, if you don't understand PCB design or VHDL, you can still use NI-developed adapter modules or work with one of our partners.